Hello everybody, my name is Derek from Addictive Tips. In this video we will be showing you how you can play N64 games with RetroArch. So I normally don't pull out my articles unless it's something really important. But uh, in this case you're going to need to do a lot. You're going to first need to learn how to install RetroArch and then after you have it installed you're going to need to do the following. So we need to launch a terminal window and uh, we need to use this command here to open up the com the uh, configuration for RetroArch. And there's some information in here. We need to look for an add menu core updater. I think I already have it set up, but uh, basically you need to add this menu entry if it's not there. So I guess I don't have it there, my bad. Anyways, just go to the, you press page down. There's a lot of stuff in here lot a lot a lot of stuff and then just do control shift v paste that control o to save the configuration and then you can open up retroarch so retroarch you can go and get it open and then you see a lot of different stuff there's different cores i've got installed i've already got the n64 one installed but uh, that's not exactly what we need right now because we need to show you how to set up cores yourself. So what to do is you go down to online updater, and then from there you can go to content downloader. Now from here you gotta look through this huge list and go down to the Nintendo list. Go to Nintendo 64 and download the Moopin 64 plus one. You don't see it in my list here because I already have it, but to, it will show up in this list and you just highlight it and it, see how it downloaded that one, it'll download the same way. From there, you can go to load core, select the Moopin64 plus one, and that will be set as our core, and we can see it in the bottom here. From there, we can go to the uh, load content button, and uh, you can load your favorite files, and you can do that through collections if you if you have a directory scanned, or you can just do it at a start directory, which I will do now. So I'm going to go to my Dropbox because I have stuff there. Emulator N64, and then I can just load a ROM, any ROM that I'd like. And my game will start up. And we have a, we have F0GX working. So that's how you play N64 games with Movement 64 Plus through the RetroArch multi emulator app, whatever you want to call it. Really useful. One of my favorite tools. Honestly, it can run basically everything. Anyways, guys, I gotta get going, but I will see you in the next video.